What's up guys, Sila here, and we are back continuing our Glory of the Cataclysm Raider Guide series. In the last video we did the Throne of the Four Winds achievements, and in this video we're going to do Bastion of Twilight. When you complete all these achievements you will unlock the Drake of the East Wind, which is the Drake I'm on right now. And in this video we're going to get quite a few of the achievements needed, and this will be the second of three raids needed for all of the achievements. And we'll be picking up the only escape. Double Dragon, Elementary, and the Abyss will gaze back into you. Also, you'll get Heroic Helphus, uh, Heroic Valiant and Threlion, Heroic Ascendant Council, and Heroic Cholgal. But I'm going to be doing these under the impression that you'll be doing both of them separate, as the Heroic side doesn't really need any tactics to it. You literally go in, and with like 640 plus gear, you pop cooldowns, you kill the boss. <laughs> Isn't anything crazy you need to know. So we're going to be focusing on the actual achievements that require sort of mechanics and tactics. And if you want to do this on Heroic and do the achievements at the same time, feel free. As Bastion of Twilight is very easily doable to do this. Um, it's one of the easier raids for the achievements out of the three. So I would definitely recommend doing this one um, combined if you have a bit more gear. But if not, once again, as I said, we're going to assume that you're not doing that and you're going to be doing both of them separate. So we will just be looking at the achievements on normal 10 man. You can do these on normal 10 and you can do the heroic versions on heroic 10. There's no reason to do 25 man at all. So keep that in mind as well. So we're going to clear through the trash. There's literally nothing you need to know. Just follow the direction I'm going in and we'll head to the first boss, which will be Halfus. Now the first achievement is very, very easy if you're even a semi-geared player. My Paladin's like 640 and this was a joke on 10 man normal. And this achievement is to uh, is the only escape and it's to defeat Halfus after defeating two drakes within 10 seconds of each other. So what we're gonna do is the, the drakes and the, the whelps in the cage count as well, but you do need to kill all of them um, as well. So keep that in mind, you will need semi-solid AoE. But for this, we're going to go for the two sort of big drakes. Um, it'll vary which ones are alive each week. It kind of randomizes. But I'd recommend picking the bigger drakes as I feel they're easier to deal with. But you can pick the whelps as one if you wish. So what we're going to do is we're going to aggro Halfus. And then we're going to click on the dragon. There'll be a little lock sign and it'll free the dragon. Then we're going to run over and unlock the next dragon. And avoid doing any damage to Halfus because he will die pretty damn quick. So I'm just going to leave him to it, you know, beating on me a little bit. And we're going to unlock the Storm Drake. As I said, it will randomize which two drakes you'll actually have active, or three drakes. Um, and once both of them are out, you're just going to DPS them down roughly the same time and just ensure they die within 10 seconds of each other. As you've seen, like two to three spells was enough to kill them at 640. So anyone above that, you know, you're going to pretty much one shot them. And you've got 10 seconds to kill both of them. And it doesn't mean you need to kill both of them and Halfus within tesna, uh, 10 seconds. You just need to kill the two drakes within 10 seconds. It can take you as long as you need to kill Halfus, Which, in honesty, shouldn't take you much longer anyway. But you've got that option anyway. A little bit of cushion. So next up, we're going to go through this room of trash. You can run straight down the middle and pull all the trash um, and kill it. Uh, one thing to note on the bridge, there are kind of like bombing fire elementals that will knock you off if they hit you. So just try and kill them before they reach your edge. If you fall in the lava, you, you are going to die. So avoid that as much as possible. Now we're on to the next boss, and this is Double Dragon. Uh, kill six Twilight Fiends in the Twilight Realm, and then defeat Valian and Therelion in Bastion of Twilight. So the Twilight Realm is something you normally wouldn't go into when you were doing this fight, on normal at least. So... To get in it, we're going to wait until the kind of transition phase as these two dragons swap roles. And one will be in the air, one will be on the ground. So we're going to pull uh, Valion, uh, Valiona at first. Um, kill that trash that I managed to pull because I'm, I tried to skip it. That's whatever. And just literally don't kill her. You, you can DPS her down slowly if you wish, but it doesn't really matter just as long as you don't kill her. Get her to about 50% if you want. Um, and just soak any damage and keep yourself alive and just keep waiting. And we're going to wait and wait and wait until we get the Dazzling Twilight, I believe it's called. We'll see it in a second. Um, it's a big, big circle that Frelion will put on the ground. There it is. Dazzling Destruction. And you want to stand inside that and then you'll be put into the Twilight Realm. And what we're going to be looking for are little mobs called Twilight Fiends. 
and we're going to stay in here until we've killed six of them. Once again, not damaging the boss because we don't want to kill them. And we're just going to wait and we're going to count up six. I think I end up killing seven because I can't count apparently. But there's three. And yeah, it's just a waiting game. You're going to sit in here, they'll spawn fairly slowly, sort of 10, 20 seconds apart. So you don't need to kind of go looking for them. They'll, they'll run to you for, uh, pretty much. So that is five. And we should have six any second now. There's six, but I think I actually stay for one extra, yeah, because I can't math, you know how it is. There's seven, and then we're just going to click one of these bigger orbs just to get ourselves out of the Twilight Realm, and then we're going to finish off the boss. Easy as that, very, very simple on 10 man normal, and doesn't really change too much on heroic either, just the damage outputs are different, and there's a little bit of a different mechanic for the Twilight phase, so if you are having issues, just switch it onto normal and do this as a two-part achievement, you know. One week on doing the achievements, the next week doing the heroic version. That was uh, would be how I'd recommend tackling all of these anyway, just to make sure you don't mess them up, um, as it's a lot easier to do them on normal. So, so we're gonna run down this hallway and we're gonna kill the next room of trash. I would recommend pulling all of these and just AOEing them down because they complement each other in terms of um, how you kill them. So. Previously, you'd need to pull like specific types together. Um, so having them all together just makes it a bit easier to kill them. So we're going to get all those killed. And the next achievement is Elementary. Uh, defeat the Elementium monstrosity in Bastion of Twilight while only allowing it to create a single ice patch. So it may sound confusing, but basically this is a three phase fight. You're going to want to kill um, the two sort of bosses as close together as you can, so DPS them down at roughly the same time. And then do that for phase two as well, two different bosses will come in. And then in phase three, they'll all combine together, and they'll be exactly in the center of the room where I am now. So you want to be as close to the center as possible. And when he spawns in the center, run over to him and literally don't move. You know, just keep him stood still in one single patch, and that's it, just kill him. And that's all you need to do. So don't run around like a Muppet, just, you know, stand still where he is and DPS him down. If you move him out of the ice patch that he's currently made, he'll begin to make another one. So keep that in mind. Um, I get a, a bit of a crit there so he dies a bit fast, but it doesn't really make too much difference as they'll get like a combined HP bar, which at level 100 doesn't really matter. He could be at 100% HP and he'll still die um, just as fast. So as you see, he spawns in the middle. I'm gonna run over to him as fast as possible and then he's going to create his ice patch. And you're just going to kill him in that one ice patch. You're not going to move him at all. And there you go. You've got the achievement. Simples. So we're on to the final boss now. We're going to run through to Cho'Gal. Very quickly as soon as I'm done looking at the loots. And we're going to go through and clear this final room. Um, once again, basic thrash. There's not really anything you need to know about it. Just get it all cleared down. And then we're good to head on to Cho'Gal. Now these two sort of mobs here, they do disperse into like blood things, but if you have this much damage, they don't, so it's not really anything you need to worry about. And then we're going to clear out the both sides of the room, just in case it kind of, you know, they have any CC or anything that could make this a bit more of a, an issue. So we're going to get them all killed and ensure this goes as smooth as possible. So now we're on to the final achievement, which is the Abyss will gaze back into you, and that is to defeat Cho'Gal in the Bastion of Twilight before any raid member earns more than 30 corruption blood, uh, corrupted blood. One thing to note, if you are arranged, stand on top of him, um, just to avoid him doing something that gives you corruption because you're at range. So just stand in melee, stand like right underneath his, his foot, and DPS him down, and then you'll have no issues doing this at all. And we're just going to pop all cooldowns and we're just going to kill him. And we'll pretty much get zero corrupted blood because of how fast we kill him. So there's not really anything you need to, there's no phases that you need to worry about or anything along those lines. As long as you have sort of 640 eye level, 10 man normal, you should have more than enough damage to kill this before any mechanics happen. So there you go, quite, quite simple, quite easy. All these achievements are basically just kill them as fast as possible and you're good to go, which is lucky for us. So in the next episode, we will be covering the Blackrock Descent achievements, and that'll be the final raid we need to unlock the Drake. So look forward to that coming very, very soon. And yeah, 
We're, we're pretty much over halfway, we're two thirds of the way through this achievement guide series. Uh, one more video to go. So thanks for watching guys, look forward to the next video where you will get your Drake finally. And yeah, look out for more videos coming soon. See ya!